Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. The 10 Strangest Pets You Can Own You're probably familiar with all the typical categories of pet devotees. Dog and cat lovers are so devoted to their favorite species that it's been a long time running debate about which is the better pet, and each sign makes their feelings known far and wide. Even people with less common pets, like lizards, ferrets, or snakes, are mostly understood for their fanatic ways. But that's not as unusual as it gets. Would you own a pet skunk, donkey, or even a cockroach? Believe it or not, there are many people who call all of these unconventional creatures their pets. And just in case you were wondering what it would be like to own one of the strangest and most unusual pets, we can certainly help you out. Stick around and you might just find the perfect pet for yourself. Number 10. Capybara Related to the guinea pig, the native South American is the largest rodent in the world. When fully grown, the capybara is on average 4 feet long and usually weighs more than 100 pounds. It's pretty rare to find these obscure animals as pets, but there's one capybara named Kaplan Roos who's gained a loyal internet following. However, capybaras are never fully domesticated, so you must handle one often when it's young in order to establish a relationship. Capybaras require a lot of attention, plenty of room to roam, and some type of swimming pool. They can be territorial and could bite with their large teeth, so we don't recommend capybaras for families with young children. Like most of the animals on our list, your country might have exotic pet legislation that would keep you from owning one. So always check the laws before bringing one home. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for all of you that'll just take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And boom, 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. Stick Insects The stick insect has been entertaining and educating school-age children in classrooms for years because of its unique appearance and simple care needs. Now, more and more people are keeping stick insects as pets at home. These intriguing insects are usually around 3 to 4 inches long and can live for several years in the right conditions. Stick insects need tall enclosures, at least double the height of the insect, because they like to hang. And additionally, stick insects molt many times before they reach maturity, so they need enough room to literally climb out of their skin. Stick insects are very low maintenance and generally make for good first pets for children, as long as adults are in charge of cleaning and handling duties. And special care should be taken when handling these insects, as their limbs can break pretty easily. The species' unique appearance and interesting molting process make them a living science project for anyone's home. Number 8. Mini Donkeys the American Pet Products Association reports that more than 3 million people in the United States own equine animals, and that includes miniature donkeys. According to the National Miniature Donkey Association, these animals make good pets because they're affectionate and good with children. But don't let the name fool you, many donkeys are far from tiny. They're about 3 feet tall and weigh between 200 and 350 pounds. Many donkeys have needs similar to those of full-size donkeys, so that means plenty of hay, grain, fresh water, and access to a fenced pasture. They also require regular vaccines and should have their hubs trimmed every two to three months. The NDMA explains that they need constant companionship of other mini donkeys, as they're not solitary animals. So taking one on means taking on at least a pair. Number 7. Hedgehogs Many think that the surge in pet hedgehogs began with the release of the popular video game Sonic the Hedgehog in 1991, and this is one fad that seems to have staying power. Hedgehogs are commonly mistaken for small porcupines, but the two species are not related. Hedgehogs can vary in size from half a pound to one and a half pounds, with spines reaching up to 0.75 inches in length. Hedgehogs are generally pretty low-maintenance, gentle pets. Wild hedgehogs eat insects, but you can buy hedgehog mixes at pet stores that are specially formulated for these spiny creatures. And you can always supplement their diet with insects, crickets, and treats. 
for living conditions, the Hedgehog Welfare Society recommends cages no smaller than 30 by 24 inches and at least 15 inches tall to accommodate exercise wheels. It's illegal to own a hedgehog in some countries and in Washington, D.C., in New York City, in the U.S., along with a number of states. So make sure to check your city and country's laws before purchasing one. Number 6. Pygmy Goats Goats have long been kept as pets. Even Abraham Lincoln had a pet goat in the White House. Although most people don't keep standard dairy goats as pets anymore, pygmy goats are popular as pets thanks to their compact size and friendly disposition. These grass eaters are similar to small dogs in size and are generally considered easy to care for. Pygmy goats aren't as high maintenance as standard goats, but they still require shelters that are at least 8 by 10 feet with 4 foot high fencing, as recommended by the National Pygmy Goat Association. They are very sociable and are happier in herd atmosphere or with at least a few other pygmies to befriend. A balanced diet for these creatures includes grass, hay, brush, and leaves. While most livestock vets will treat pygmy goats, you should locate one before bringing home your unique pet. A pygmy goat might be just the right pet for you if you're able to provide a home environment that includes strong structures with plenty of land to roam on and healthy grass for munching. The NPGA says that pygmies will react to their owner's voices, but even with an extra responsive goat, this pet could provide too challenging for most people. Number 5. Potbelly Pigs this pig isn't the one-ton variety you'd find on a farm, but a smaller breed that makes a pretty good pet. George Clooney famously cared for a pot-bellied pig named Max for more than 18 years. These squealers are even relatively odor-free and easy to train. Police departments have even used pot-bellied pigs as drug sniffers because of their trainability and the fact that they have an astounding sense of smell. They like a regimented schedule, so exercise and mealtimes should be at the same time every day. According to veterinary experts, they have a tendency to become obese, so it's important to maintain a balanced diet and make sure that they get plenty of exercise. Pot bellies can even be trained to walk on leashes, so you can walk your pig the same way you would a dog. Pot bellies are considered intelligent and affectionate animals, but they might not make great pets for everyone. For one thing, the pot belly likes to be the center of attention, so one pig is definitely enough for any family. Number 4. Sugar Gliders Part of the possum family, sugar gliders are quickly becoming one of America's favorite peculiar pet species. They're native to Australia, and they get their name because of a special membrane that extends from their hind leg to their front leg, allowing them to glide from tree to tree. The average full-grown glider will weigh only about 3 ounces and reach about 7 inches in length. Sugar gliders love to socialize, so they're happier in pairs or more. They're definitely capable of bonding with people, so be sure to spend plenty of time handling your gliders when they're young in order to make a connection. Veterinarians recommend a diet of cooked meats and eggs, fresh vegetables, and raw nuts for gliders, supplemented with insects, leaves, and fresh branches. Sugar gliders are nocturnal and rarely adapt to daytime activities, so you might have to adjust your schedule to get in some bonding time. This animal is probably not ideal for households with small children since gliders do have sharp teeth and claws that can hurt inexperienced handlers. These marsupials are considered exotic pets, so regulations in your country could prohibit you from owning them. Number 3. Wallaby Native to Australia, the wallaby is a marsupial like its cousin the kangaroo. It can grow up to 41 inches in length and weigh up to 53 pounds. Wallabies are timid animals that require a lot of open space and diets rich in grass, leaves, and some fruits, such as apples. Their great escape artists and regular privacy fences are no match for them. According to the Australian Marsupial Society, you'll need fencing that's at least 5 feet or taller and that has additional containment structures, like chains along the bottom, to keep them from going under the fence too. For a lot of these reasons, wallabies typically don't make good pets for most people. A normal backyard isn't even going to be enough space for a typical wallaby to roam, and the expense associated with providing for them could be too much for many. According to the AMS, these animals do not house train easily either, and they're generally nocturnal, which could mean sleepless nights for you and your family. So even though they're pretty cute, families looking to bring a wallaby into their homes should seriously consider the financial implications before purchasing or adopting a wallaby. Number 2. Skunks 
Skunks have been kept as pets since the early 20th century, but these striped animals have never been that popular. It could have something to do with the species' smelly reputation, but domesticated skunks' scent glands are removed when they're about four weeks old, so that the owners don't have to live with the stench. Skunk enthusiasts describe them as very sensitive and intelligent animals with curious personalities. According to pet skunk experts, owners need to spend plenty of time bonding with their pet skunks, especially when they're young, so that the animals will be accustomed to being held and grow up to be tame. Skunks can be litter trained just like cats and eat diets similar to ferrets with a mix of fresh veggies in order to supplement their dry food. They do require annual visits to veterinarians for vaccines and must be spayed or neutered in addition to having their scent glands removed. Keep in mind, not many vets are experienced with skunks, so make sure you locate a professional who's comfortable with treating skunks before welcoming one into your home. Only a few countries allow skunks as pets, and in the US, most states have prohibited owning one. All right, so before we get to our top pick, we'd like to give a big thank to Nate Haskins for sending us the thumbnail for today's video. So, without any further delay, here's today's top pick. Number 1. Hissing Cockroaches Some might think this is the grossest pet ever, but many people consider this large hissing insect their love bug. If you can get past the idea of keeping a cockroach on purpose, you might realize that these hissers actually make pretty good pets. They don't fly or bite, and the hissing sound they make is pretty cool. These roaches need small living spaces with places to hide from light and sticks to climb. They are excellent climbers and have been known to climb right out of their enclosures. So experts recommend keeping the top couple inches of their enclosures coated with petroleum jelly in order to inhibit the roaches from escaping. These insects like fresh veggies with any type of dry pellet food that's high in protein. Even dog food will do the trick. And because they don't bite or sting, these cockroaches could make excellent first pets for children, especially those interested in bugs. But don't forget, all the pets we've mentioned today are quite challenging to keep. And before adopting one, make sure you're prepared to handle all the situations associated with keeping one of them. Thanks for watching MindRead, everyone, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another amazing video.